Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Red Elevator. I'm Nina Takesh, and I have one of the biggest surprises for you guys, especially for those of you who are in the music business, because we have a rock star, and I mean literally a rock star, that's going to be joining us, that uh, is going to give us his greatest cleaning hacks that you do not want to miss, so stay tuned. And since so many of you asked me today, I am wearing none other than Natalie Martin collection. Her dresses will be linked below. And I particularly love this dress because it's, first of all, it's spring, so it looks wonderful on, but it's very airy. And the back is a little bit longer than the front, which makes it super cute. Before we get into that, I wanna give a quick shout out to Pros for sponsoring this video that has an incredible line of hair care products that I've been using today with this beautiful bound. So I'm super excited to share it with you guys. What Pros is and what Pros does and will be linked below is that you take a customizable quiz and they give you the products that are perfect for your hair. What I love about Pros is that all of their ingredients are absolutely organic and they are clean. So you have this beautiful product that you are now going to be able to customize for yourself for your hair. Everyone has a different texture. Everyone has different hair. Therefore, I really recommend that you take the pros quiz below in the comment section where I will also be sharing only with you guys a special code to save on your very first order of $10 off. Today, we're so excited to have Kevin Martin here from the Candle Box. He is, yes, the lead singer of the greatest rock and roll oh band, Kevin, and one of our best friends. <laughs> and of course, which is why I'm wearing Natalie Martin. His wife, Natalie, has this incredible clothing line. So this is the power duo. And something that most of you do not know about Kevin Martin, actually his very, very um, good friends and his fans do know that he is by far the greatest cleaner out there. I call him the rock star cleaner. Kevin, well, would the, you agree? Yeah, well, the nickname's Windex, but I don't use Windex. <laughs> Okay, so Windex is here, and Windex is going to share with us his greatest, greatest hacks on how to clean. One thing everybody knows when we go to Kevin's house is that he is literally cleaning from the time we arrive until the time we leave, and he's always doing something a little sneaky. So I begged him, and I asked him, I said, Kevin, can you please appear on the red elevator and show us exactly what it is that you do in your home? Because I know that people out there want your hacks. Cleaning is like, uh, it's one of those things that, I started when I was very young, and um, and I, I guess over the years, I've learned that living in an environment like I do as a touring musician, tour buses are very, very dirty, and the, the existence that we have on the road is difficult um, and challenging, so I like a clean environment. And these are the products we're gonna talk about that I use daily and religiously. They're my favorites, and, um, and they work on almost everything uh, that you could possibly have in your home. Everything you need to clean your entire house is going to be right here in this little caddy. That's it, everything you need from top to bottom. And this is Kevin's Rockstar Cleaning Tools. Uh, I think you should start your own product line and it should be Rockstar, uh, Rockstar, <laughs> Rockstar uh, products. Thanks. Yes, because this is uh, unbelievable and there is no reason why this should be a secret. I think the secret needs to come out. I think everyone on YouTube has to learn what Kevin's tricks are. So we're gonna start with your first favorite one that I've heard about, rumblings about the paste. So we're gonna create a paste. Um, I use this paste. This is um, for hard water stains, uh, anything that you have on glass. You can, again, you can use this on certain countertops, marbles, granites and stuff. Just test a small area. Uh, this is Barkeeper's friend. I want to call it secret all the time, but it's not a secret anymore. Um, and this, you, you want to create a little bit of a paste um, in, your, in your, you know, bowl or whatever you're using it on. Um, let's say you've got a, a carrier like this one and, and um, create a paste for hard water stain. So you do squirt of the Barkeeper's friend and you use a bit of Dawn. Now, why Dawn? Everybody keeps talking about the grease. Why Dawn versus palm olive, let's say? Um, just, I think it's the chemical level. Listen, you know, we talked about chemicals are in pretty much everything. I found that most cleaners that don't have chemical in them don't work well. Um, citrus is great for most things. Vinegar is amazing, you know, baking soda. But there's something just that Dawn has that when it's combined with 
barkeeper's you know, bar friend just it's holds magic. that stuff. It's magic. Yeah. And I don't know what that chemical reaction is. It's, you know, it's, I could say it's. I'm sure you've tried peroxide. every combination. Yeah. I have. I've yeah. tried vinegar. You know, we have a home in, in Palm Springs, um, very, very hard water out there. And all the showers are. Toast. Yeah, pretty much. The glass is toast. This is the only thing that I was able to. You're kidding. To get the, the hard water sinks out. I've used everything. Even the, the vinegar soap, vinegar and vinegar water soap. Vinegar soap. For, 48 hours, did not remove it. This did, simple little paste, turns you know like a mint color. Simple paste and, and get it on there. You wanna let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse with cold water only, not hot water. Cold water. Really cold, okay. It, cold water is the secret. Hot water will bring those stains, stains, right, stains back back right out. Yeah, so you need to use cold water and that's kind of a pain in the ass. Sometimes you have to get in the shower and. <laughs> Nobody wants to get in that cold. So that is uh, the barkeeper's friend. This stuff's amazing. With the Dawn dish soap, a nice scrubber, the blue ones. Something that doesn't, um, I guess it's non-scouring. Yeah, you, we don't want to scratch you anything. You don't want to scratch it. This that's glass important. will scratch, yeah. So, so just, that's your barkeeper's friend. This stuff's amazing. Okay, so we're gonna have everything linked for you guys below. Every product that you see in this video, so don't worry. Do not leave this channel. While you're watching, since we have your attention, please give this video a thumbs up so we can bring wonderful content to you guys on a regular basis, so that really helps the channel. So don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Tell me why you love microfiber cloths, because every time I'm over, you've got one over the shoulder. <laughs> <Dear. laughs> I, I buy these things in, in bulk like 48 packs, no way. 96 packs, yeah. Microfiber cloth is the greatest cleaner. Um, it can- Period. I mean, I don't, uh, paper towels I use to, to dry my hands. I, I do no glass with paper towels. Microfiber, these are, are pretty amazing because you can see the one side's um, a little bit more of a, of a pill to it. Right. And then there's a finer side. This finer side is, is for glass. The pill side is for countertops or cabinets or, stoves, whatever you want to clean them. Okay. But the, the great thing about microfiber, and if you wash them, do not put a dryer sheet in with them when you dry them. Oh. That, that will find its way into the microfiber cloth. This is the greatest glass cleaner, countertop cleaner, 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 cleaner in the world. You heard it here. The spray spray away is absolutely fantastic. Um, it, no ammonia. It does have other chemicals in it. So if you have a tendency to be you know, affected by, you may want to wear a mask. Um, but it's not really strong. It does have a scent, the scent goes away rather quickly. Um, but this cleaner um, with these rags is magic. Now tell us why, I, and I know a lot of people are pushing for eco products and we, you know, we believe in that. We always push the, the best, greenest products, but tell me why this is better and why you went that route versus something that's completely eco. I st well, I'll tell you, I started using this. My brother owns a, a frame shop in Seattle. Um, and um, we worked there together a long, long time ago when I was a teenager. And this was the glass cleaner we used for, you know, museum pieces. Mm -hmm. um, because it's streak free, I don't know what's in it that causes that, but it is, I've been using it since I was 16 years old. And you're still alive. And I'm still alive. So. <laughs> and you're still breathing. And I, okay. I do travel with this. Uh, this does go on the road with me. You're um, kidding. No. Yeah, this is in our, we have a case of stuff that goes on the tour bus. And that, so. this goes on the tour bus. Okay, <laughs> you heard it here. I mean, seriously, True story. that's great. So I do, I, but I love it for everything. But yeah, I'll show you, I'm gonna show you what's so magic about this because it is my favorite. And when mixed with this, it's- This is another stuff. power duo. Yeah. So I have my uh, mirrored stove top. And this is the bane of my existence because it constantly has these oil splots that are here. And they've been, they've been here and every time, it's just hard to get rid of them, literally. We have to get a power tool to sort of um, buff this out. But you're telling me that in one full sweep, I don't need a power tool. No. I don't need to go back and forth a hundred times like I normally do. You think that is going to work here. Yeah, I'll show And you. get all of these out. All right, let's see it. Be careful spraying directly on. Stainless, you can, granite, concrete, no problem. With this, you'll want to spray onto your rag a nice, you know, uh, what is that? A large 50 cent piece. And then just, and let it do its thing. I, I just can't believe it. I have like 16 different stainless cleaners. I've done other cleaning um, videos and I only found one, but it only works, you know, on only stainless. But this is nice to know that I can 
you know, have one product that I don't have to worry about. Yeah, and I mean, I, I prefer this now. Method is another one that is a clean, you know, a clean Eco product. version, yeah. Eco version. Method makes a really good stainless cleaner. They make a great uh, okay. countertop cleaner. They make a great wood, great wood cleaner. I just find that this is my go-to because maybe I've been using it for so long. But I do, uh, it, it, I do think it cleans better than everything else. But if you want Eco, uh, Method is, is um, the one that I would recommend. Again, we're going to link exactly those items that he mentioned, not just any item, but the ones that are Kevin recommended. Kevin Martin <laughs> Kevin's is, picks. Kevin's picks are going to be below because for those of you who really um, are allergic to chemicals or, or by the way, I've been around this product. We've been using it. It smells lovely. So I know that you love these sponges. I bought them at one point and I don't have white walls. So then I tossed them because I didn't know what to do with them. But well, you can still use them with, with the dark wall. You this, can? Yes, this is this is a Mr. Clean. We, we've all seen them. This is the four times strength, which is what I prefer. Uh, I find that uh, the single strength is a little flimsy, fall apart, break quickly. And the great thing about these is, is you know, you can really remove anything from anything with this. Anything um, from anything. Yeah, I mean. If, How about the tattoos? No. Well, maybe <laughs> you rub hard enough. But yeah, so this. This, you know, on walls, like you, like you have dark colored walls, yeah. if you have a skid mark uh, or a scratch or something, you know, it will remove that on gray, black. But even if you have a paint color, it won't yeah. turn it white? No. Okay. No, this is, this is just, it just has, I'm going to use it on this little brass. Okay, so I, this is my ring holder that I have by the bar that I never use, and it could use some lovin'. You know, it's got stuff in it that just kind of pulls out dirt, grime, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it feels soft, like it's not gonna scratch, because that is no. my big pet peeve, is I don't want anything to be scratched. Yeah, it, w it won't scratch. And you know, you're gonna see like a little bit of colors coming out of the, out of, of the, the brass. Um, Which is dirt. Yeah, it's just dirt from your fingers. And you, you know, you can just wipe it, wipe it, wipe it. I mean, mainly this is what I would use, you know, on walls, but I do use it, I use this on glass again. If you've got um, grease on, you know, uh, uh, you know, your glass behind your sink or something, um, it's really, really good at removing any kind of grease? stain, grease, whatever's out there. It's it's a, a well, well-rounded, well-used product, and can be used on anything. So tell me about grout because that's another pet peeve of mine. I usually use a toothbrush, and that doesn't last very long. No. no. Is this a, well? It's basically a toothbrush, um, but it's a much but stronger a good one. bristle. Yeah, um, and this again, you can use the Bark uh, Keeper's Friend. Um, and the same mix with the Dawn. This is also, these are great with baking soda and vinegar. Okay. If you really, really want to get grout clean, baking soda and vinegar with this type of brush, it's a really, really stiff bristle. And go ahead and get in there. You're not going, I mean, if your grout gets destroyed, you probably need to redo the grout anyways. But it should be... Grout safe. Yeah, it should be grout safe that you, you know, the guy did a great job on it and you're not going to ruin it. But these brushes are amazing for that. You've got the corner brush here. This is the, the full wide grout. And then this is just great for, you know, small sections if you want to uh, dig in. If you've got like a little bit of yeah. dirt or something that won't come out, and then just get in there like that. So this is another thing, like a lot of people like cleaning products being, you know, it doesn't say, you know, harmful if swallowed or whatever. You want something that looks great in your kitchen. And, and if you leave it out, it doesn't look bad. Fill this with, like you would do, a, with this you do a half a cup of baking soda and then the rest with a uh, half a cup of uh, vinegar and then fill the rest with water. Okay. Warm water. Uh, for that kind of a cleaning thing. And you want to shake it up really, really well and give it a good spray and let it sit again for like a minute. On your grout. On the grout before you start and then just dig in. You know? And that's eco right yeah. there. That's very, very safe. Yeah. And, and it won't won't ruin grout and it will come, it will get really, really white because of the baking soda. Great. And yeah. it won't ruin the tile that's around it, I imagine. No. 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 Okay. Because if you have a fancy tile, maybe you don't want to use uh, perhaps a harsh chemical, but this is very, very safe. It's very safe. And, and, and vinegar and vinegar and baking soda, again, that's one that can be used on almost anything you have in your home. Great. Not wood, of course, but stainless countertops, um, glass, uh, brass. Now, what kind of vinegar? I know everyone's going to ask. Are we talking about distilled white vinegar? Yes. Are we talking apple cider vinegar? Distilled, distilled white vinegar. Distilled white. So we'll also have distilled white. Um, I don't know how that happened, but we will also link that below so that you get the right vinegar and also the right uh, baking, baking soda. soda. Baking soda, baking soda. Really baking soda. Yeah. Right, so grab whatever you have at home. Put these in these beautiful bottles. You guys know how much I love things to look very uh, uniform and beautiful and orderly. Cheap. 
and very chic, très chic. And uh, we also have great labels for these that we introduced in a separate episode, but we will also link those below. So now garbage disposals are also a very smelly proposition. Yes. And uh, I asked you about this. I said, what do we do for garbage disposal? You said glisten. Tell me about glisten. This is one that I, I think uh, I've used a ton. I've used a, uh, there's another company that's, that creates these little drops. Um, I found them not to be the best. If, you, if your garbage disposal can handle a lemon rind, that's the best thing. But a lot of them can't. They get old and they oh, can't they chip can, They can ruin. Rind. Okay. Yeah, so this is one. Probably that, it's a safer, I would imagine. Maybe it's safer. Only, yeah. Um, and these are great because they, they foam up, they pull any kind of bacteria that's sitting inside the, the garbage disposal out. Uh, and, it, and it has to just, you know, the, the directions on the back of, of how you want to use it. Follow the directions because you, they can become very messy. So this, uh, this you want to use with hot water. Make sure your water is very, very hot um, when you're going to put it in. We need to kind of create a, uh, a little steam bath in there. And, uh, and so the directions are, let that hot water get in there for about a minute. Um, and then what you wanna do is uh, reduce this to the size of a pencil. One cleaning packet, do not open packet. And you put this in. All the way in and then disposal on. You can see it foam up. And you let that run for about a minute or two. And what that's doing is, see, pulling everything that's sitting in there out. It's bio, the package are biodegradable. So it goes without saying that you're not really doing anything bad. And that's about it. Thank you, Kevin Martin, for joining us My today pleasure. on this episode of Red Elevator, the Rockstar Cleaning Hacks. I can't thank you enough. We are not only best friends, all of us, my husband and um, his wife and I, we always hang out, but they are also neighbors of ours. So uh, whenever there's a cleaning emergency, call. what are we gonna do? I'm gonna call you. Call me anytime. Thank you again, Kevin. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this very fun episode of Red Elevator. If you guys wanna see this type of content, content if you want to see this type of content with guest appearances like Kevin Martin, please uh, leave us a comment below so that we can bring you very fresh, very interesting, and very coveted information. Again, thank you for joining us on this episode of Red Elevator, and we will see you again next Sunday.